श्री पराशिक टी विद्यालय सी बी एस ई क्लास सेवेंथ सब्जेक्ट बायोलॉजी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल वेलकम टू सेवेंथ स्टैंडर्ड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न बायोलॉजी चैप्टर वन न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट्स वॉट इज न्यूट्रिशन यू ऑल्सो लर्न दट इन प्रीवियस क्लास आर यू रिमेंबर द वर्ड फूड it is essential for living one it is our basic need carbohydrate fat protein vitamin and minerals are the components of the food these components of food are called nutrients so the food components are nutrients are give energy to grow build their bodies to repair damaged parts of their bodies and resistance against disease nutrition in plants divided into two main groups the mode of nutrition one is autotroph and another one is heterotrophs autotroph auto means self trough means nourishment the type of nutrition make their food by own or that is called autotroph best example plant heterotroph the another one mode of nutrition hetero means it depend others trough means nourishment heterotroph it depend upon directly or indirectly other plants or animals for their food so it is undergoing heterotrophs the best example human beings and other animals so all the plants are under autotroph exceptional some plants are heterotrophs example insectivorous plants pitcher plant parasite cascata hi students the next topic is how plants make their food do you know how plants make their food plants prepare their own food by process called photosynthesis photo means light synthesis means putting together or combine together photosynthesis plants prepare their own food by process called photosynthesis photo means light synthesis means putting together or putting combine or combine okay next plants need sunlight carbon dioxide from air water and minerals from the soil to prepare their own food the plants need sunlight carbon dioxide from air water minerals from the soil to prepare their food photosynthesis takes place in the leaves so the leaves of the part is called food factory photosynthesis takes place in the leaves of plants so the leaves part is called food factory of plant leaves have a tiny pores called stomata the stomata it's through which carbon dioxide enter the plant plant cells contain tiny structures called chloroplast that contains chlorophyll the stomata through carbon dioxide enter the plant cell contains tiny structures called chloroplast that contain chlorophyll the stomata is surrounded by guard cell okay the water and minerals present in the soil are absorbed by root and transported to the leaves 
carbon dioxide from air through tiny pores that present on the surface of the leaves okay yeah so the photosynthesis equation carbon dioxide plus water the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll the product name glucose plus oxygen it's given glucose and also oxygen the oxygen is used for human and the animals okay yeah oxygen then leaves the plant through the stomata glucose gives nourishment to the plant etc glucose stored in the form of starch for later use photosynthesis is the process by which plants prepare their own food using carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight the sun is the ultimate source of energy for living organism so the sun is the ultimate source of energy for living organism okay see all the green vegetables and fruits are made by through the photosynthesis in the presence of chlorophyll we cannot imagine without sunlight sunlight is very essential for all living one some plants have leaves that do not appear green for example grotens these leaves also have chlorophyll chlorophyll in such leaves is masked by pigment of a different colors a red red then yellow then pink also okay what is tomato now you see the picture section of a leaf and a stoma what are tomato stomata are small pores present in the leaf they are surrounded by guard cell which help in closing and opening the stomata they allow exchange of gases from the surrounding medium the next question what is the role of stomata in photosynthesis leaves of the plant absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere through the stomata and also release oxygen name the gas that is produced during photosynthesis oxygen then fourth question write the word equation for photosynthesis carbon dioxide plus water the presence of sunlight chlorophyll it gives carbohydrate plus oxygen the carbohydrate also known starch this is carbohydrate is a nourishment of plants okay the oxygen is then next to one the oxygen is used to release photosynthesis is utilized by living organism by for the survival oxygen is released in photosynthesis is utilized by living organism for the survival for breathing okay